Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days for Lent. I'm your host, Kennedy Hall. Today we're reading through chapters 3 and 4 of the Gospel according to St. John. As I've done over the last couple days, I'll skip over the long introductions. If you want to go to Italy on a once-in-a-lifetime pilgrimage, if you want to uh, support the, the show by signing up for the Substack or YouTube membership, you want to support sacred music by buying the album you hear at the beginning, or you want to donate to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Traditional Catholic Academy in Canada, you can find all that information in the description box for this show. So click those links if you'd like. All right, let's get into it. John chapter 3. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art come a teacher from God, for no man can do these things which thou dost unless God be with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to thee, unless a man be born again of water and the Holy Ghost, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Wonder not that I said to thee, You must be born again. The Spirit breatheth where he will, and thou hearest his voice, but thou knowest not whence he cometh and whither he goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be done? Jesus answered and said to him, Art thou a master in Israel, and knowest not these things? Amen, amen, I say to thee, that we speak what we know, and we testify what we have seen, and you receive not our testimony. If I have spoken to you earthly things, and you believe not, how will you believe if I shall speak to you heavenly things? And no man hath ascended into heaven, but he that descended from heaven, the Son of Man, who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God so loved the world as to give his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God sent not his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world may be saved by him. He that believeth in him is not judged, but he that doth not believe is already judged, because he believeth not in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment, because the light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than the light, for their works were evil. For every one that doth evil hateth the light, and cometh not to the light, that his works may not be reproved. But he that doth truth cometh to the light, that his works may be made manifest, because they are done in God. After these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he abode with them, and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near Salim, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. And there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews concerning purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond the Jordan to whom you gavest testimony, behold, he baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man cannot receive anything unless it be given him from heaven. You yourselves do bear me witness that I said I am not Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who standeth and heareth him rejoiceth with joy because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth, of the earth he is, and of the earth he speaketh. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, 
that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony hath set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God doth not give the Spirit by measure. The Father loveth the Son, and he hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth in the Son hath life everlasting, but he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Chapter 4 When Jesus therefore understood that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus maketh more disciples and baptizeth more than John, though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, he left Judea and went into Galilee, and he was of necessity to pass through Samaria. He cometh therefore to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the land which Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. It was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria, to draw water. Jesus saith to her, Give me to drink for his disciples were gone into the city to buy meats. Then that Samaritan woman saith to him, How dost thou, being a Jew, ask of me to drink, who am a Samaritan woman? For the Jews do not communicate with the Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If thou didst know the gift of God, and who he is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou perhaps would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. The woman saith to him, Sir, thou hast nothing wherein to draw, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said to her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but he that drink of the water that I will give him shall not thirst for ever but the water that I will give him shall become in him a fountain of water, springing up into life everlasting. The woman saith to him, Sir, give me this water, that I may not thirst, nor come hither to draw. Jesus saith to her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, Thou hast said well, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. This thou hast said truly. The woman saith to him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers adored on this mountain, and you say that at Jerusalem is the place where men must adore. Jesus saith to her, Woman, believe me, that the hour cometh when you shall neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem adore the Father. You adore that which you know not, we adore that which we know, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true adorers shall adore the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father also seeketh such to adore him. God is a spirit, and they that adore him must adore him in spirit and and in truth. The woman saith to him, I know that the Messiah cometh, who is called Christ. Therefore, when he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith to her, I am he who am speaking with thee. And immediately his disciples came, and they wondered that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou? Or why talkest thou with her? The woman therefore left her water-pot and went her way into the city, and saith to the men there, Come, and see a man who has told me all things whatsoever I have done. Is not he the Christ? They went therefore out of the city and came unto him. In the meantime the disciples prayed him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have meat to eat, which you know not. The disciples therefore said one to another, Hath any man brought him to eat? Jesus saith to them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, that I may perfect his work. 
Do you not say, There are yet four months, and then the harvest cometh? Behold, I say to you, Lift up your eyes, and see the countries, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life everlasting, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. For in this is the saying true, that it is one man that soweth, and it is another that reapeth. I have sent you to reap that in which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labors. Now of that city many of the Samaritans believed in him, for the word of the woman giving testimony. He told me all things whatsoever I have done. So when the Samaritans were come to him, they desired that he would tarry there, and he abode there two days. And many more believed in him because of his own word. And they said to the woman, We now believe, not for thy saying, for we ourselves have heard him, and know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed thence and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself gave testimony that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. And when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he had done at Jerusalem on the festival day, for they also went to the festival day. He came again therefore into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain ruler, whose son was sick at Capernaum. He having heard that Jesus was come from Judea into Galilee, went to him, and prayed him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you believe not. The ruler saith to him, Lord, come down before that my son die. Jesus saith to him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. The man believed the word which Jesus said to him, and went his way. And as he was going down, his servants met him, and they brought word, saying, That his son lived. He asked therefore of them the hour wherein he grew better. And they said to him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The father therefore knew that it was at the same hour that Jesus said to him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. This concludes another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days. I will see you tomorrow.